Hi, Chris Robson, Territory Manager with Corteva AgriScience. I got asked today to talk to you about field horsetail. Field horsetail is a bit of an oddball weed. It doesn't come up in every situation. Typically, we think of field horsetail in lighter soils, sandier situations, uh, but it can be a miserable weed to control for a number of factors. Uh, one is the architecture of the plant. So it's a really narrow uh, stem plant, really narrow leaves. Think of it as poor man's pine, a lot of people refer it to. So it can make it hard to get chemistry to land on that plant and ultimately be effective. Uh, number two is the fact that it has an underground rhizome system. So we need chemistry that's going to effectively control that top growth, but also get into that rhizome to be able to control it effectively so we don't just have the, the, the plant coming back year after year. So the nice part is we make the transition to the Enlist E3 system. E3 to alert the glyphosate uh, forms of 2,4-D, specifically Enlist chemistry and then glufosinate or Liberty. Uh, Enlist chemistry does a really nice job controlling pop growth in field horsetail. It's not going to be a one-year fix. It's going to take you a few years to kind of get it under control. But, you know, with Enlist, we, we can spray it kind of in our burn down. We can spray it in crop. It's going to give us multiple options to get ahead of it and control that top growth for increased residual options. Look to a product like Broad Strike. Uh, you know, when mixed with the list is going to give you even further control and more residual control. And then again, the nice part with the E3 system is, is know that you have uh, uh, the enlist chemistry that you can use as well as Liberty or glufosinate in crop. So you could choose to use 240 on its own, possibly mix it with Liberty and enlist one as a really significant in crop hammer to help you get ahead of some of these problem weeds like field horse tail.